What up, folks? Check it out. Today we're making the dirty rice, right? Now I've made this in the past, and again, when you see me doubling up these videos, you know what I mean? I'm doing that because I'm growing about 30 to 40,000 people a month, and those new people, I don't know if they're coming new to uh, uh, YouTube or not, but what they're doing is they ask me, can I make it? And I think I make a better video now than I did in the past, so that's why I'm doing it. Now, dirty rice. Check it out. We finna go ahead and just get started. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil in here, right? Go ahead and give it some fire. We're gonna start with a medium high heat. Just to get it nice and hot, right? Now, let's just talk about these ingredients. Don't forget, as always, and if you're new, all of the ingredients, a full printable recipe is on my website. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com and that's W I T A B.com. And while you guys are there, you get the chance to look and see what you're gonna make tomorrow or the next day and all of that. Now, let's just talk about this. Dirty rice, chicken gizzards, right? That's what most people make it out of. I could have went with a pound of this. All right here, I got mild, you know, pork sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and make it out of that, right? Because everybody behind the camera and then a couple of people that want to eat, they was like, hey, I don't know if I like the chicken gizzards or nothing like that. You can do it with that. And the only thing that you guys are missing, another way you can make it is, and that's with the uh, liver, right? So as this is heating up, you guys can use a Dutch oven if you would like. You know what I mean? You just want to have something that has a, you know, a top to it. For me, I'm using my hex clad. This is gonna be perfectly big enough for everything. Now. I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator. Let me set this over here. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our mild, you know, this is our pork sausage, right? Real, real flavorful, you know what I mean? So we'll start here. So this is nice and hot and you can tell by, you can see the shimmers on the side, but look, when I move it around, it's nice and, <laughs> and movable. I don't know the word it is, you know what I mean? But it's actually getting ready to start to, you know, smoke. So, I'm gonna pull this off, and we're gonna go ahead and get just a little bit of a little crust on that right now, so we don't wanna break this up or move it. Now, what I'm gonna do is, you wanna get yourself one of these meat masters, right? This protects the pan. You guys using those non-stick. It even helps out when you're using a Dutch oven. No scratches, folks. So now, I have it moved it. Now I'm just gonna break this up like this. You know? So if you guys pay attention, you know it's a little bit on the, you know, okay, so we, since we're using pork, you know it's gonna be a little bit on the fatty, you know, greasy, right? So now I'll switch to my square edge, you know, bamboo, you know, wooden spoon, right? So I'm just moving this around by using Italian sausage, you know what I mean? Uh, this It's more like a, a flavorful sausage and it's on a mild side, right? We're gonna kick it up a little bit with a little bit of that uh, cayenne. Now that's up to you how much you put in there. Now, I just want to show you that I have a paper plate. You guys use a regular plate, but since any less dishes I can do, I do it, right? I got a paper line, right? So when we take this out after it's completely browned, the reason I'm gonna take it out is because we want to get rid of all of the grease, right? Since we're doing a rice, we don't want it to be greasy. You know what I mean? So these right here are key steps. I'm gonna show you something to get your, your brain going. Look at that right there. Ah, oh, yeah. You know, now I'm using a metal utensil inside of these hex clad pans, which you can. It's the design and the way it's cut and etched on the bottom creates the non-stick surface, right? So I'm using a slotted spoon, get a little bit of that grease out. And then I, what I do is I just spread it out over here. Right, let me get that out of there, my bad. I'm thinking about, I'm gonna turn my fire off. That's what I wanted to do. Now I want you guys to come in here and look at this. Now we put a little bit of brown on it. Got a little bit of fine down the bottom. I can actually get that up with this here, but I'm not. Cause everybody don't have the hex clad, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna show you something, just one second. Now, slide a spoon again. I'm just gonna move this over. I could get another paper towel, you know what I mean? But let's just do it like this. We move it over. You can see all the grease that it didn't absorb. That's why I don't do my, none of my pork with the andouille, because the objection is, objective is to get all of the, as much of the oil off as possible. All right, so I took out just a little bit of the grease that had, was rendered, right, from the andouille and what we had left over from the uh, pork sausage, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my onions, just to start to get these to become translucent and cook down. Now I always give my onions like a one minute head start. So, you know, the acid, the acidity, that's inside of an onion, 
will help get any fined up, you know what I mean, uh, get that flavor up and start infusing that with everything, right? Now, after just one minute, now we bring the rest of our veggies. All right, so look, I want you guys to come in here and look at my veggies. Now, that's up to you how you want your veg veggies to be. We can cook these down and get them a little bit even more softer, right? But we're going to do them, for me, I like them like this to have a little bit of integrity to them. You know what I mean? They still got a little bite to them, but they soft. I can feel it just by, you know, touching these with my, my, uh, my wooden spoon, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and add my, my seasoning, right? Now, when it comes to this cayenne, if you want it to be hot, that's okay. That right there is about enough. I just really wanted like, ah, that might be just a little bit over a quarter teaspoon. You know what I mean? But that's all you need, you ask me. But I know some of you guys out there love it when it's nice and hot. You know what I mean? So maybe you want to do a half a teaspoon, right? But I can tell you with the Creole kick, oh my goodness, it smells incredible. And the way it moves, I know you guys, every, most of you guys have it, unless you knew, now you're getting exposed to it. Just the aromatic that comes off of the veggies and Creole kick is fire. And they got a little bite to it also, along with that cayenne, right? So that's cool. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use the last of this garlic paste so I can get back to using my, you know, my garlic uh, press. All right, now that everything has been combined, now we're getting ready to come back with our meat. Ah, oh, yeah. This is it right here, folks. Super easy. Do it all in one pan. You know what I mean? Uh, cut down, and if you're using anything like me, paper plates. Come on. All right. Look at this right here, folks. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Some beans, some black beans. Get you a burrito. You know what I mean? Get that tortilla out there. Mm. Y'all see where I'm going with it. So, so many things we can do. That's one of the things you guys should like about this channel. You know what I mean? Uh, look, we just give you options. You know what I mean? All right, so now we wanna add just a couple of cups of rice. And then when you have your rice in, I like to let that be a little bit on the absorbent side too. Let it get toasty and let it touch the bottom of that pan. All right? Now here's a part that's gonna be tricky for some people. Cause I'm gonna say you can use chicken broth or you can use beef. In this case here, I'm gonna use some beef broth. You know what I mean? Just a combination of this. You know what I mean? I use the pork sausage. You know what I mean? But sometimes I make this, a lot of times I actually make it out of uh, ground beef. But you see how the rice turned a different color? Look at that. So it's a, absorbing that. I just let it get a little heat, warm up. All right? And now I'm gonna come with my beef broth. All right, so what you want to do is you want to bring it up back to a boil. You see it starting to boil right now? Not quite that hot. And I believe I said in the beginning, what makes using, doing this in a Dutch oven, that pretty much ensures that everybody have a top, right? So now that we coming up to a boil, I'm just going to take my bay leaf, get it going, let the rice do its work, right? I'm going to reduce my fire down to a simmer. my lid on and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna look at it I'm gonna set a timer for about 18 minutes it usually goes about 20 about 20 minutes 20 22 minutes right but at 18 we're gonna take a look I'm gonna let this do its thing and I'll see y'all in just a minute okay folks so check it out listen this went about 22 minutes I checked it at uh I did check it at 18 looked at it gave it a stir I wanted to make sure nothing was sticking on the bottom now when we take this off right here we look at it here we go Right, so you can just see it. So I'm gonna let it go ahead and start to, you know, dry out with the top off. You know what I mean? Just continue to give it a stir. And what I wanna do now is, I wanna take a couple of pictures. That's how you guys got here anyway. And then we are gonna go ahead and do a taste test. Okay, folks, so now that I done put it in here, 
you know what I mean, put it all in the bowl. I've already tasted it. It is very, very good. Uh, I'm gonna tell you it's kid friendly. You just wanna make sure you don't put too much cayenne pepper in the inside, you know what I mean, inside of it. Uh, the Creole kick got like a nice smooth bite, give you that, 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 that Louisiana type down south, you know, feel to it. And then I want you guys to pay attention. Look at the rice. You know, sometimes, you know, we say that the rice comes out gummy, you know what I mean? But you can just see, nice, fluffy, it came out, you know, real nice. So listen, just so that I can go ahead and give myself another bite. Cheers, y'all. Oh, yeah. Now check this out, folks. That right there is good, right? That Creole kick. Now, if you guys don't have Creole kick, you know, use your favorite Creole seasoning. You know what I mean? But I advise you, you know, like, I'm trying to do whatever I can to tell everybody on the planet, Creole kick is the way to go. All right, so listen, you got that in there, a little cayenne pepper. I already stated that I believe this is really like truly uh, kid friendly, real nice. You see it comes out, you know, nice and fluffy. Now, I did that, okay, so when it was the andouille, that was a pork andouille sausage, right? So that goes along with the, you know, the pork Italian sausage that we did in the very beginning. If you guys wanna use chicken, you can use that gizzard. You can use a ground chicken. You can just like do it your way. So let me know down in the comment section below. Listen, I feel like I'm about to ramble and you know, over talk it. Listen, I'm gonna eat. So check this out. If you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And now I'm about to sit down, take me a break and wait for this brisket to get done. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.